Okay, let's jump into Fresh Trim and check it out. I just want to say that right out of the box, I don't love the UI. So this is using the more modern UI in After Effects. I designed this to work with the legacy UI. So if you toggle that on, I feel like this is a little bit more pleasing. Now, there is one loan button down here for help. So if you want to read what the different modes do, you have that. But keeping real estate in mind inside of After Effects, I tend to just scoot this down so it takes up as little space as possible. So let's just run through these different modes and see how they work. So this first one, trim to keyframes, pretty simple. We just select our layers and we can go ahead and trim to the keyframes. Now, one thing that you can do with all these modes that I'm only gonna show once because I don't wanna be too repetitious here, but I'm gonna undo that trim and if we hold down Alt, we can trim just the out point of layers. And if we hold Control, we can trim just the in point. So let me hold down Alt, and we get just the out point trimmed. I'll undo that. And if I hold down Control, we can trim just the in point. And like I said, that function works on all these different buttons. The next one, we have Trim to Parent. So if I select some children and click on Trim to Parent, they're gonna have the same length as the parent that we have up here as layer one. Let me undo that. We have the opposite here. If I select the parent, I can click on trim to children and it's gonna trim from the very first endpoint and the overall last out point of all the children. So that makes it really nice to make sure that the parent layer is the same length as the children. We have a similar thing here with maps. So the next one is called trim to mat. So if I select all these layers that are using layer four as a map, and if we click it, they're gonna have the same endpoint and out point as the mat. I'll undo that. Then we have the opposite. We can trim to matted. So if I click on the mat itself and click here, it's gonna be trimmed from the first endpoint of all the matted layers to the overall last out point. Okay, so that makes it pretty nice to make sure that your mat is continuing on for all the layers that are using it. The next one we have trimmed to zero. It can work with scale. So any place where scale is zero. So if we look at just um, the circle here and we have a scale of zero, it scales up a little bit and then back down and then it scales up and then back down to zero. So with this, with this layer selected, I'm gonna just click Trim to Zero, and it's gonna be trimmed to any place, well, basically from the first keyframe that has a value of zero to the last keyframe that has a value of zero. Now, the same thing works with opacity. So it'll be trimmed from the first keyframe with a value of zero out to the last keyframe with a value of zero for opacity, and so if I click on Trim to zero, does the same thing. Now this layer up here has a combination. We have opacity being keyframe, so we have a 0% keyframe here, and then it ends with it being scaled, and we have a scale of zero. So with this layer selected, I can click on trim to zero, and it's gonna trim both the in point and out point. So like I said, this can work with scale keyframes, opacity keyframes, or a combination of the two. Okay, the next one we have is trim to selection. So I can select one layer, and I'm just gonna hold shift and click all the way up here to the square. Now the square was the last layer I selected, so if I click on trim to selection, it's gonna be trimmed from the first endpoint to the overall out point of all the selected layers. And we can do that um, for any selection. So they don't have to be in order. So I might just select a couple here and then select my square and trim to selection. And so you can see that the first endpoint was right here and the last out point was up here, okay? So that's trim to selection. The next one is trim to markers and Pretty simple. Um, I don't know if there's a whole lot to say here, um, but you can put markers on your on your layers and we can just trim those to the markers. Okay. And then again, another pretty simple one is trim to layer above and trim to below. 
Uh, just be aware that here you can only have one layer selected at a time. So if I had this layer selected and I click on trim the layer below, pretty simple. And then uh, for this one, I can trim to layer above. So that's Fresh Trim. Hopefully it helps you keep your project a little bit more organized. If you'd like to see other trim modes added, shoot me a request. I'd love to hear what you have in mind. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, 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 dun.